It's nice. Uh, it's nice getting an article written about you, isn't it, Danny? It's nice when an article gets written about us, Leo. That mm. doesn't start off with like comedian in quotes. Yep, goes on vile rant mm. or bachelorette star yeah. accused of sexual something or other. Yeah, exactly. That's mainly the articles out in the uh, in the old media, or mostly th- those are the headlines that you hear from me. The old media, Leo. Oh yeah, but but today, Danny. Today, well, I think there's internet. It's like it's like one of those things. You want something on the internet saying that you saved someone's life forever. So it's it's there forever saying that we saved a human life. Austin, why don't you get over there and show the people the article? Yeah, because but, you have this. There's an ad over it. Yeah, we right now our audience is being compelled to subscribe to a mailing list instead of saying <laughs> that we're heroes. Yeah, there it is. There we go. YouTubers save woman overdosing on fentanyl within minutes of arriving in San Francisco to document the city's crisis. You know, Leo, this is the press coverage we've yeah. been destined for we 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 are and look we got a little unlucky because that might be that's just like the worst title that we could possibly they could possibly make about us what would let's let's why don't we brainstorm some better titles two handsome youtubers save the day exclamation point two big dicked hilarious youtubers revive an overdosed homeless woman But not before the Italian one has sex with her first. (laughs) (laughs) Two giant YouTubers that happen to be a couple of the biggest ladies men that you'll ever met saved a woman and then were denied time at local comedy uh, stage. That's the biggest one. Is the punchline denying us. Yes. You know, it's uh, right here. When you save a life, especially when you do it on camera. I think, Leo, that that is equivalent to about 10 years of stage time under your belt. Oh, my God. You nailed it. It's like being it's like going to thousand a thousand open mics. It gives you a just immediate just well, you should you reserve five minutes at basically any stand up venue in the United States. You know, I was really being modest asking for five. Mm -hmm. They should have given us forty five. Yeah, they should have been like, all right, guys, you're headlining tonight. We actually, uh, we told uh, Michael Blaustein and uh, and and Trevor Wa- uh, Wallace, <laughs> Lawrence, La- Wallace, yes, Trevor Wallace, that they need to get out of town. Trevor Lawrence and some of the Jaguars were going to come by and do a couple <laughs> open warm-ups, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. Just, but, uh, just some drills for the audience. Yeah, man. But it, it's bullshit. But I think now everyone's on our we, side. We want to clarify that Michael Blaustein and Trevor Wallace weren't the headliners that night. No, they weren't. It was a couple of random comics. Yeah. What are you doing, Leo? You starting start, beef with stiff I socks, start, Yeah, I want to start a beef with a crosstown... <laughs> fucking pod that has a lot more fans in the female yeah, generation it would true. help us out if we get into this beef with them we might get we might get 20 percent of their female crowd over here you know? we need a stiff socks listener mm-hmm. a 22 year old perky titted college girl mm-hmm. to get hooked on fentanyl overdose <laughs> then we revive her right. then all their chicks come to us dude then all their chicks come to us that's what we need this is what we should be doing. Instead of you know how the Mayans would kind of take over small tribes, we take over your female Ooh. just base, your female uh, like fan base. Ooh. We just take them over. Oh, uh, we take it over. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Whatever it takes. And, and sometimes you know, like if we can't find a creative method, like you know, in this case, we're trying to revive a girl over us to fentanyl, and we're, we might just show up at their house with a butterfly net. That's right. In a van, <laughs> and just be like, "Hey, dude, Cody Co." You you watch Cody Ko's puck? Oh, yeah, I watch. Cody? I like yeah. Noah Miller and Cody Ko. Whoosh, net her. over your head in the van. We you're coming. You're coming warehouse. to Danny Mullentown, dude. We take him. We put him in a warehouse, and then we we start at video one. We Danny re-educate Mullen. them. Yeah, we re- <laughs> we start at the at the at a base. You know what I mean? We uh we we start with like what would you what would some reading material for these ladies? What would you what would you request? It would be a, a handwritten note that I can pose on the spot that says, hey, you got kidnapped, LOL. <laughs> We're going to show you approximately 25 hours and 27 minutes of content. So I hope you didn't have any plans this weekend. Give them a diaper. We give them a diaper because they're not there's no bathroom. Give them a diaper. Give them a diaper. And then uh, also say like, hey, Danny likes it when the blowjobs are sloppy. And then the fucking video watching 
marathon commences. Yes. It, it commences. And yes. then hopefully at the end, I get a sloppy blowjob and we and get one more subscribers. And then, and then life, hopefully at the end of that, there are lifelong subscribers to the podcast of mm-hmm. the guy, of the guy that kidnapped them and encouraged them to blow them. Dino, you're going to have to be the butterfly net guy. Okay. Cause yes, I could see him in the outfit too. I, I could too. <laughs> he would look good in the outfit, but honestly, I'm skeptical, Leo, because Dino's the guy behind the action camera right now. Mm. He can barely just hold something. Yeah, that's cylindrical. Right. I, I don't know if there's a net attached. If he's going to be able to, with any sort of accuracy, mm. drop it. And then, does he have the body strength? Like Dan- a lot of girls, you know, girls have big butts and big thighs. Dino, can he carry one? Danny, I would be worried about. Just his upper body strength, of course. But secondly, you know what would happen. It would be the thing that he always does when he get when we give him a task. He something goes fails. wrong. Something goes wrong, and then he gives you the most fucked up excuse in the history of excuses. I, I woke up and like my foot hurt, so I I'm sorry I couldn't uh, do that for you. You know, like you wanted the net and you wanted the van, but I went to the van rental place and they wanted like ID. And I was like, what? And like, so I couldn't get the van. Yeah, he's, I, I mean, I, I can't go to the DMV because like I lost my ID and like you have to wait in line and I don't have the time. And like I, I talked time. to my parents about it and they're like the ID like records your information for the government. And so like, I can't go to the DMV, dude. I'm sorry. I just, I don't have a light. Uh, uh. I'm sorry. Yeah. My yeah. Man, Butterfly Net also was like, it didn't really work. I got it from Amazon, and like you said, but I don't know if it's the right one. It's really small. Yeah. It ended up only being like <laughs> six inches tall. Because, like, it was a picture. It was like, it was made in China. So, like, fuck that shit, you know? It's, like, it's the Chinese. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Big thing, big gay. Big so, that's, so we can't, we can't. We can't do anything with Dino, dude. It's just, it's, it's, we can never trust Dino even f- to no. do the smallest task. So it's, it's frustrating to say the least. It is, but that's not going to take away from our moment in the sun right now. Let's go to, I haven't read the article yet. I reposted it. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's not like a promising title and then just a, a horrible hatchet piece. Let's scroll down. Is there anything written here? Let's see. Austin, Let's see. <clears throat> a group of YouTubers reportedly, reportedly, come on, this is factual, saved the life of a woman who had overdosed on fentanyl in San Francisco asked, after a resident asked the men if they had any Narcan just minutes after they arrived in the city. Mm-hmm. Just 30 minutes minutes into their venture to document the desolation of the city by the bay comedians leo dottavio and danny mullen those are your guys were asked for help by a panicked resident who was looking for narcan to revive his girlfriend the woman had allegedly overdosed on fentanyl narcan is brand name for naloxone i don't even want to try naloxone 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 a medication that arrives sorry i spent a lot of time in italy that's where the naloxone came from that quickly reverses an overdose by blocking the effects of opioids once they realized the man was serious the group quickly followed the local up to his apartment where his girlfriend was lying on a bed unresponsive the man was filmed attempting to wake the woman up by repeatedly tapping her on the face the crew's cameraman Nico Villacresis, parentheses, who has a little wee-wee, helped administer CPR to the woman who was barely breathing, while Dottavio and Mullen called first responders. Wow. Let's see, I want to read more, Austin. Uh, we came to San Francisco to film one of our usual comedy documentaries on the crisis enveloping downtown. However, in the course of filming, this is all in quotes, we encountered an individual overdosing on fentanyl, and we were able to administer aid to save them, Mullen said in the video. Damn it, Danny, was that an opportunity for comedy that we didn't take? We Tell could me. have we could have had you were asked to do I was asked to do uh to make a a statement for the piece, right? Right, were you asked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know. And instead of going like with you know, I don't know, uh a joke per se or mentioning something factual like you know, we have big penises and I think that that's why we were able to have the courage to yeah, do the yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just said something like nice, like, oh, yeah. You know. Did you actually have get to comment on this? I commented. I thought you were doing yeah. a bit. What do you got? What'd no, you say? I didn't say it didn't come out in the article and I already forgot good, what good. I said. They're like, oh, you're an Jesus. asshole, dude. They were like, Fart, he doesn't this know greasy grammar. Italian. This is all I could throw together. I was like, in this moment of heroism, this is all I can hey, muster. Hey, I don't know, man. We're fucking heroes. Uh, what do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you want me to say? I fucking save the day. Shuck my fucking cock. Hey, any of you girls <laughs> want to get in touch with me? It's at Leo F. Dot on Instagram. Oh. Lead with a picture so I know you're serious. Dude, I think they did put my statement in because I, this is actually what I said, Danny. I don't want to. 
it's got a crass, but yeah. I said, uh, I said, listen, ain't nothing like face fucking an old fentanyl junkie when she's about to fucking pass out. All right. right. Well, I see why they omitted that from the piece. Yeah, it was a little, it was a little crass. Yeah, yeah. You know, Leo, I admire your honesty. Yeah. And uh, exactly, I thought I was being noble because I was merely saying, look, when the cameras weren't rolling. I got, I was already hard from the whole experience. Yeah. And I decided to put my penis inside of that, that junkie's mouth when no one was around and I did it. I did it. Wow. And that's the truth. You know, Leo, nobody's going to have access to the uncut footage. So nobody's going to know whether or not you're telling the truth or lying. She definitely is. Can't tell. Yeah. And you know, so we're just going to leave this one with a question mark on it. As far as whether or not Leo might have abused his manhood while the woman was passed out. I thought it was like one of those things where like if you didn't, you would just you'd regret it later. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was one of those instances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ever feel like that? I mean, Danny, you're there, you got a junkie. She's uh-huh. passed out. Not half bad looking. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not half bad looking. Yeah. You gotta get your rocks off somehow. Yeah. No, you know, Leo, hey. Uh, you save a life, you get something. It's like it used to be an eye for an eye, a life for a mouth fuck. Thank that you. was in Hammurabi's code. Hammurabi's code. Yeah, it was. Hell it was. Yeah. There were a lot of junkies back then. Let's keep scrolling Let's down. Keep scrolling down. Does it say anything just over the top? Like, hey, these guys, uh, Danny, these guys are really, super awesome. These guys oh, are wait, really Wait, they put my, some of my comments in. Let's see oh, what they shit. got. I didn't know. I think this just got edited, dude. Well, let me see the comment. All right, here it is. Uh... Firefighters quickly arrived on the scene, breaking up a door apartment complex. After she received Narcan, the victim walked down the stairs to a nearby ambulance with the help of the paramedics. It's pretty common, one of the firefighters remarked in the video. They have a lot of Narcan dispenser places. I'm surprised the man didn't have it. Most of them have it, he continued. Because that happens all the time, Dottavio asked. This was just from our video that they're quoting. At, our, at just our station, we probably get 10 to 15 Where's your day. quote, asshole? Go right well, to that. It's going down. Okay. okay. Well, here it is, though. I think this is my quote. Seeing a city that I grew up visiting, that I went to college near, in complete shambles is heartbreaking, Tavia told the blaze. I think I was in, I think I was in sob story mode. I, I think, think so too, yeah. Hopefully a girl thinks that I'm vulnerable and sweet for, for saying this. It's very obvious that any change coming to San Francisco is in the distant future. Okay, that, that sentence could have used some reworking. Why, dude? It's solid. It's, I think it's really, <laughs> it's deep. Well, I mean, you, you could say something like uh, San Francisco is in a dark spot right now. And I don't see change anytime soon coming anytime. I like, should have said the only celebrity that I enjoy that lived here was Robin Williams. And I completely understand why that guy often. Started. That would have been good. Damn it. dude! Damn, dude. That would have been good. Damn it. Anyway, yeah. no, I, it's, it's fine. The distant yeah. future. I was putting on like that, that my, my, uh, my pseudo intellectual, like fake. Yeah. Sort of intelligent voice. That sure. On sure. Yeah. On t- well, on t- a, a news source contacted you. Yeah, yeah so what you, was I supposed to do? What did you I? hear a female reporter on the phone and you were just... Oh, kind of that's what it set. was, dude. It was our homie. It was Andrew, who's a fan of... He's a fan of the channel, dude. It's dope that we have somebody that can just write an article in the place. All right, let's come clean. We, yeah. a, a buddy of ours wrote this article. <laughs> you know, we'll take so away what, to get press-wise. You don't think that that's how all the media works? You think Kim Kardashian isn't asking to be put in every publication on Yahoo News? She's paying to be put on there. You know what's bullshit, dude? Is to get verified on instagram the one requirement was always that i get some real press here that didn't say i was like a woman hating fat killer yeah that was always the requirement here it is fucking right here but now all you need is fucking eight dollars a month and you can be verified like ashton schlosser i know well are you gonna start are you gonna pay for it i think i tried and they rejected me that's bullshit dude i tried once and it didn't work so i just said fuck it Let's keep scrolling down. The remainder of the, of, the, of the video showcased the comedians, not in quotes. That's right. Not in quotes. Yes. Exploring Bam. a mostly abandoned downtown gore San Francisco, which was highlighted by an empty office buildings and street poker games. Did they, they didn't mention your, uh, your Hitler impression. That's, uh, that's bullshit. Omission from the Arctic Ocean. <laughs> meets thinking censorship and meets thinking that Jordan. Means thinking the communist Bolsheviki and Steisen Christen Schweinsteiger. <laughs> Schweinsteiger. I just Thank say you. a last name. And Schweinsteiger and play a professional football skin. 
I don't think he's you saying this is uh, very okay. He's very uh, horrible. That guy was hilarious. Yeah, that fucking asshole. Yeah, he was an asshole. Well, that's we're heroes. Bottom line, Dino. So yeah, I like that. Mullen's YouTube channel has garnered nearly eighty-five million views and is approximately seven hundred thousand. Th he rounded up. He rounded up, dude. He's the man. I thought he's the man. Idea. He rounded up by eleven thousand. That's how we do. Hell it, baby. yeah.